Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Techniques course. In this video, we will demonstrate the lasso regression. Lasso uses L1 norm of weight vector instead of L2 as used in this regression. Lasso does not have a closed form solution and its loss function is not differentiable at all points. Hence, we need to use specialized algorithm to learn the parameters of lasso regression. Here, in this case, we use SK learn lasso implementation to demonstrate the lasso on the polynomial regression model. So, the lasso implementation is available in the linear model library of SK learn. So, we first import lasso, we set the regularization rate to 0.01 we instantiate a lasso object and call the fit function of the lasso object on a given training set. So we remember that this particular training set is generated by a nonlinear mapping between the input and the output. We have a single feature x1 in this data set and the label y is computed as sine of 2 pi x plus some noise. So, and we use a polynomial regression model of degree 9 for, uh, for generating for, for this particular problem. So, this x transform has got 10 features, 9 features corresponding to the 9th order or 9th degree polynomial transformation and an additional term of bias. So this is, this is about lasso. So in order to compare, we also run a linear regression model by setting the regularization rate to zero. So this will help us to compare ridge and lasso. And in the last collab or in the earlier part of this collab that we presented as part of ridge regression, we have also learned the parameters of the linear regression model with the ridge penalty. Now what we'll do is we'll try to compare the weights that are obtained from linear regression model without any regularization, the ridge regression model and lasso. And since we are fitting the ninth order polynomial model, we have got 10 features, 9 features corresponding to the polynomials of different degrees and uh, an additional uh, bias term. So you can see that uh, in the linear regression model without any regularization, the values of the weights are very high. We can see as high as uh, 678k as the value of uh, the sixth order uh, polynomial. And there are uh, very large positive and negative values in linear regression and of course that that leads to overfitting as we have seen uh, in the polynomial regression collab. When we apply the reach penalty, the values have uh, come down drastically. None of the values, uh, none of the values is zero, but most of the values are small and they're around, uh, around zero. In contrast, if you look at the weight vector of the lasso regression model, there are many zeros, right? Many weight vectors uh, are in fact many weight values are in fact zero and there are few of the weight values precisely one two and three they are non-zero there are three non-zero weight values and uh, seven zero weight values so you can see that lasso regression model uh, results into a sparse feature vector many coefficients or weights are zero in case of lasso regression model whereas ridge regression model assigns small weight to each feature. So you can see that in, in some sense lasso is assigning non-zero weights only to the important features. So we can use lasso regression model for feature selection. While modeling relationship between features and label, in our experience let's say or in our consultation with the domain experts, if we believe that all the features are useful for making predictions, uh, then we use ridge regression model. Because you can see that ridge regression model 
does not uh, discard any feature rather it gives small weight to each of the features so whenever you believe that most of your features are useful for uh, for obtaining the output you should use ridge regression model if you believe that only a few of these features are useful in making the prediction lasso would be your choice because lasso produces a weight vector with many zeros so unimportant features are assigned uh, zero weight in, in case of lasso regression model let's visualize these three models and you are already familiar with this code of visualization so this is the linear model uh, which is basically a polynomial model polynomial regression model with degree 9 and you know that polynomial regression is nothing but polynomial transformation plus linear regression so here we are using polynomial regression or polynomial transformation of degree 9 in fact in all the cases we are using polynomial transform of degree 9 so in that sense we have the same feature representation for all three problems in the linear regression we do not use any regularization whereas in case of ridge and lasso we use a regularization rate of 0 0.01 and now you can see uh, the difference in the in the fitments when we did not use any regularization the resulting uh, model was not that smooth so the red the red line uh, represents the model that was learned so this model is not that smooth it has got lots of lots of up and downs whereas uh, the remaining two models are smoother in comparison to what we have seen in the leftmost figure and these models are not overfitting so you can see that uh, ridge regression lasso regression model is more aggressive than ridge regression model ridge regression model is at least passing through uh, four points here uh, lasso is not passing through any points uh, and it is probably a more uh, aggressive form of regularization compared to the ridge regression now that we have uh, compared uh, linear regression uh, or rather the polynomial regression model without any overfitting ridge regression and lasso regression model I hope you are now having better idea about uh, the differences between um, using regularization and not using regularization whenever we were not using regularization we were having model that was overfitting and as we use regularization uh, we are able to reduce the overfitting problem Now let's look at lasso regression with different regularization rate. Here what we do is we use again the polynomial regression model of degree 9 but we vary uh, the, uh, the rate of regularization and remember here we are using lasso regularization. So uh, the first one is without any regularization and you can see that there is uh, some amount of overfitting that is already kicking in. And as we uh, increase uh, the rate of regularization, the model become uh, smoother and smoother. If we use too much of regularization, the problem is that model stops learning and uh, it basically is underfitting. So you can see that in, in both these cases, uh, lambda equal to 1 and 10, we have uh, a situation of overfitting. So again, as in case of ridge regression, uh, you know, as we change the uh, the lambda, which is regularization rate, we again get a new model for even for lasso. So we also have a problem of model selection while using the lasso regression model. Uh, we need to select the, the model that perform best on training and validation set, and the corresponding lambda is an optimal value of regularization rate. So we again follow the same model selection procedure where we fix bunch of regularization rates that we want to experiment with and then for each of these rates we train a lasso regression model and we uh, store uh, the, the corresponding feature vectors and the training and validation errors. We plot the learning curves 
and the weight uh, and the weight curve as a function of regularization rate and as you can see uh, even in case of lasso regression model we have lambda on x axis and uh, root mean squared error on y axis as we use a very high value of lambda value uh, a higher value of penalty our model has higher training and validation errors which is sign of underfitting and as we go towards right when we use a smaller value of lambda you know the the training error is far smaller than the validation error and this is a sign of overfitting so we have to select lambda that is uh, in between these two extremes of underfitting and overfitting and we can also see the effect uh, on weights so when we were using very high value of lambda most of the weights were were equal to zero and as we start increasing the value of lambda the weights slowly starts increasing if you use too little lambda too little or too small value of lambda the weights actually explode so by looking at both these figures we have to select the value of lambda that um, that that is appropriate or that is optimal in this case we can uh, possibly select this particular value of lambda because uh, this is the point where both training and validation errors uh, were small and both of them were decreasing beyond this point the validation error is uh, pretty much remaining flat whereas the training error is reducing further so you can either choose this particular point or you can also choose this particular point uh, for, uh, for, for the lambda, for the optimal value of lambda. So this was uh, the demonstration of a lasso regression model and uh, we looked at the difference between uh, you know, polynomial regression without overfitting, wedge regression and lasso regression and how, uh, how their weight vectors differ. We also looked at uh, model selection in case of lasso. In the next video, we'll look at the solution paths taken by the ridge and lasso regression models.